Come on, praise the Lord, everyone. All right. Praise the Lord, everyone. Everyone under the sound of my voice, praise the Lord. And all those in video land, praise the Lord to you too. Amen. Whether you're here, presently in our parking lot uh, service we're having, or online, we want to welcome you to the uh, Great Pentecostal uh, Great Commission, Pentecostal Church um, in uh, Phoenix, Arizona. We are doing our parking lot service this morning. Um, and before we get started, I uh, just want to uh, just let everybody know what we're doing. Uh, one reason we're doing the, uh, the, the parking lot thing is because of the restrictions that we have on, on the buildings that the government imposed on us. Um, we do want to encourage everybody to use the um, safety precautions um, that, the, uh, that is out there for our health. Um, that's the, uh, the six feet um, um, requirement that the government's putting out on us. Um, stay safe, stay healthy. Amen. Praise God. God's in control. We love the Lord today. and We want to give God praise for what He is doing for us. Amen. The Bible lets us know that everything that we're facing here, down here on this earth, is only going to be for a while. The Bible says it like this. It's just like a, um, um, that we are going to be um, down here. Um, I'm trying to think of the verse. Um, down here temporary. But you know what? We're going to make it to heaven one day. And we're going to look back at all the things that we went through down here in this world. And say it was worth it to hold on and, 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 and give all my efforts and time to God. Amen. Amen. Can we start with prayer this morning? Just lift the name of the Lord up. Heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord, for this day, this opportunity to be here today, Lord, and knowing that you are able and you have everything under control. You have this whole world in your hand. Lord, I pray that you would bless all those that are on their way here to the service. I pray that you would bless all those that are watching the service. Lord, I pray for all those that have needs in their bodies, challenges that they're facing this morning, God. I pray that you would be with them, help them, Lord, encourage them. Lord, and I can give you the thanks, God. Bless our service this morning in your name. Amen, amen. Worship with us today as we give praise to the Lord.
the struggles, Lord. Hear us from heaven and touch this generation. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Hallelujah, Jesus.
thank you today. We need more. Do you feel like that this morning? Do you need more? Amen. Or are you content with what you got? Amen. No, not me. I need more. I need more. Praise God. Isn't he awesome? Amen. He is awesome. Bible lets us know that he is our help in the he's our present help in the time of need. That means the needs that you have right now, he is there for you. You just have to believe and receive. Amen. Praise God. Praise God. That's what we want to do this morning. We want to we want to go to God in prayer. Amen. Believing that he can hear us and better so he can answer our needs. Amen. We know there's a lot of things going on, a lot of things that we cannot, we cannot handle, a lot of things that's too, too much for us in our human, um, these bodies to handle. But you know what? There are doctors, there are people that have some skill that they can help us along the way. But you know what? We know a chief physician, the one that created these bodies, the one that knows more about Anything that we're going through, he knows how to fix it. Amen. We want to go to God in prayer. And I know there's a lot of needs out there, not just concerning this uh, virus that's going on, but I know that there's things going on in people's homes. There's things going on, um, sicknesses going on. This, um, there, there's people that need salvation this morning. There's, uh, there's a lot of needs that we might have across this whole nation. Amen. We just want to just stop for a moment and take it to the Lord in prayer. Amen. Because he is able. He knows our situations. He knows how to fix it. Amen. Lord, we love you this morning. And we know, God, that you are able, God, to do all things. There is nothing too hard for my God. Lord, we want to thank you this morning, Lord, for Lord, for being here for us, God, for, Lord, through all the things that we are going through, all the trials and tribulations, God. Lord, that we it seems like it's too much for us to bear. Lord, but we need to turn to you. Our nation needs to turn to you. We need repentance, God. We need to turn away from the things that are, Lord, that we are going through, God, the things that we are, we are adapting in our lifestyles, God, that displeases you. Lord, I pray this morning, God, that you would touch our families, that you would touch all those that need a, a touch from you this morning, God. Lord, heal our land, God, all those that are suffering from this disease, Lord, from this virus, God. I pray, Lord, this morning, Lord, that you would show yourself in their life, God. Lord, show your glory, God. We are thankful to know you this morning. We're thankful, Lord, to be saved. We're thankful, Lord, that you have given us, Lord, the revelation and what we have need to do to make it into your kingdom, God. Lord, we thank you and we give you the glory for all that you're doing. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus.
feel more comfortable standing in your car, that is all welcome. That is fine. But we're just going to try to meet here at the church um, tomorrow night at 7 o'clock. And like I said, parking lot. You can, the parking lot is huge. You can walk all back here. You can walk all out the front and anywhere you want to go. But we're going to, you, like I said, you're more than welcome to stay in your car as well. But we're going to do a parking lot prayer tomorrow. So all that can be here, please be here for um, church prayer.
everybody's struggles, everybody's challenges. And Lord, collectively, God, and individually, Lord, you ask us to lay those things at your feet. Because we can't handle it. The stress of it is just too much for us. But we're so thankful that we have a God that's big enough, who has shoulders that are big enough, who has arms that are strong enough to handle everything we cannot. Thank you, Lord God. We love you today. We honor and praise your great name. Hallelujah. Let's give God a hand of praise wherever you're at. Hallelujah. He's worthy today to receive glory and honor and praise and strength and power. Hallelujah. It was David that said in Psalms 34, I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. Hallelujah. There's something about praising God that just lifts your attitude, your, your whole demeanor, everything about you, your disposition, because praise is what we're meant to do. He's made us to praise Him, to give Him glory and honor. It sets God free. It allows God to work in our lives. Hallelujah. Well, today we're just so glad to be here in the presence of God and having church. It's not the usual way to have church, but we're having church this morning. And I pray that you're being blessed by it all. Praise God. Today I don't want to keep you very long. I know it's getting a little hot out here in our cars, but we're going to go to the book of Acts.